Hello, so today we are going to learn a very cool feature of Excel that is how to create data forms without using VBA. This is not so widely known but then it proves to be very helpful for us when we have huge amount of data set in front of us. I have made a quick pointers over here so that you can just copy it down before proceeding and you can refer it back once uh, you perform your own data forms. So just diving into my spreadsheet over here. I have written, I have made a small table with name, math marks, age and gender. So the very uh, widely used feature of entering data into your table is by, is by just typing it down, um, your data into the table, your data entry into the table, right. So this is one of the way of entering your data, your particular record into the table. The other way is by using your data forms. Now data forms are very helpful. Why? Because you can simply add new data to your table, edit new data, delete data entries and also search for few data. Right? So it becomes very helpful for us when we have huge amount of data with ourselves. The first step is to get the forms into the quick access toolbar. Why? Because we don't find it into the in the ribbon section. So you won't find the uh, forms feature in the ribbon we need to get it in the quick access toolbar for that we will just customize the quick access toolbar more commands we won't find it in the popular commands over here so for that we need to go to the commands not in the ribbon we have something as forms as you can see form so just clicking on the form button over here and add so that it's added in my quick access toolbar. I'll click on the OK and this has been added. Now before proceeding ahead, it's always mandatory to insert a table. So this is just a range um, which I have written over here. It's not a table. I need to convert this into a table. So it's very simple. Either you go, can go to the insert and you can simply insert the table or you can use the shortcut key as control T. Control T will create a table of this data range which you see. So I'll just click on OK. Uh, I can change this back again to a normal uh, section which we have. Now um, you should be within your table like you should select any one cell within your existing table and only that way you can create a form. So if you are in some, if you are somewhere else in your sheet, you can't create a form. Uh, it gives you an error. So you just need to be within your table, anywhere within your table, and you need to, need to cl uh, click on this forms button which we have. So this is sheet one, which is the name of the sheet, and this is the entry which you see. Only one entry is there. So you can scroll down, scroll up to get more entries, and we have a few options over here of adding new entry to your sheet, deleting the existing entry, finding uh, entries on the basis of a given criteria, right? So I'll go step by step. First thing, I'll try to add a new entry to my table. So I'll click on this new. We have this blank form over here. So I can just write a name. I can just give a name. Let's suppose I write and by just simply clicking on the tab button, you can move on to the next, very next text box. You don't have to use your cursor or you use your mouse. Just clicking on the tab and you can move on to the next text box which we have. And we give the marks. And then you just, can, uh, just need to click on the new and it will record the entry in the very last row of your table. So I'll just click on the new and you have added the new ng to your table. So this is how you add a new ng and you can just scroll up and down to get the entries in your, to find the entries in your table. Right? Let us do one more. Let us take one more example over here. And I'll click on the new button over here. So we have added a new entry. Now suppose um, you want to delete your one of the existing entries. So what do you do? Either you can just click on the find previous, find next options over here. 
or you can just use the scroll bar over here so i can i can just simply go to a entry which i want to delete so if i want to delete this i'll just click on the delete button and di displayed record will be permanently deleted yes okay and your record is deleted from the table that is uh, this is how you delete a particular entry now suppose you want to find one entry on the basis of a particular criteria right so we are currently in the new record section that is you can enter your new record to your table so i need to click on this criteria button the moment i click on the criteria button this changes and the heading on the top also changes to criteria this means now you can search an existing entry on the basis of a particular criteria so suppose i want to search it on the basis of the name so i just simply type in the name over here and you click on find next find previous and you see you have the entry over here there is no other entry matching with my criteria name criteria given so you won't find anything else this is how you simply find an existing entry on the basis of a particular criteria which can be anything name math age or a gender right uh, the next thing is suppose by mistake you enter something in your existing entry which you do not want to and maybe you want to restore it back uh, to the original entry you just click on this restore button do not click on the enter because the moment you press enter it will be saved the entry will be recorded it will be edited right so i'll just click on the restore button over here and it is it is restored back if you want to change if you want uh, an existing entry to change you just need to um, either you can search it via the criteria section or you can just scroll it over here and you can find a new entry so if uh, existing entry sorry so if this is an ex existing entry with yourself and you need to make a few changes to that you just need to make the change and click on the enter button the press on the enter button and see it's already changed so this is how you can change your existing entry you can find your existing entry you can add new entry to your table and you can delete the uh, entry as well also i told you all how to use the restore button is that if you make any unnecessary changes and want to changes to your existing entry you can just click on the restore button um, if you haven't clicked on the press the enter button the moment you press the enter button it gets saved and you can't make changes you can't get the get the original entry back right so this is how you use this data table now one more feature which we can um, add over here before that i'll just add a new entry uh, so clicking on the tab button it becomes very easier you don't have to use your mouse and you just need to press enter you don't have to click on the new button you can do so or you can just simply click on the enter button and it adds the entry see i just pressed the enter button and it just simply adds your entry over here so this is one of the ways now the next thing is that you can add data validation to your table as well how to do that suppose i want the um, marks to be between 0 to 100 only so how do you do you just select the cells over here go to the data tab uh, go to the data validation and i'll add maybe it can be a whole number between minimum can be a 0 and maximum can be a 100 so uh, let us give an error alert it should be between 0 and 100 i'll click on the okay so i have added a data validation now how it is helpful uh, when you are using a form so just click on this form button and now suppose i try to enter a new entry with marks let's say suppose 120 and i hit enter the moment i hit enter you get an error saying between 0 and 100 so i click on the retry button and it's back over here your entry has been deleted it's not been added because you need to change this math marks over here so i'll just change it back again maybe to 100 and then simply enter so it adds your entry so this is how you can just simply add your entries 
to your existing table you can create data validation as well which validates your data to be between in a certain range it can be anything you can specify a particular date or any way you want it to be right this was data validation the next very cool thing which we can use over here is when we want to search on the basis of a criteria and we do not have any specific criteria you just want uh, to search for people who have maybe marks greater than 90 so you just simply um, can use greater than less than signs as well so i'll just use greater than maybe i'll use 85 and i'll click on find previous so the moment you click on the find previous you get all those entries whose marks are greater than 85 just see simply you won't get shivangi over here because it is less than 80 or 85 this is how you can simply find on the basis of a particular criteria so this was the table which we created now the next thing is that if i'll just show you a quick example is that when you have a huge data with yourself like this which i have over here it's basically a um, data on demographic data which i have which with uh, with country name country code birth rate internet users and income group on the basis of this i want to create a uh, data form first of all very important is to create a table so control t and you create a table you can just simply ignore the design table style over here now i'll click on the forms button and we have all the entries over here 195 entries in your table so now you can search for a particular criteria maybe i want those countries whose birth rate is greater than 20 so i'll just input in my criteria and i'll click on the find previous and then you get all those entries which um, have birth rate above 20. so this is how you can use you can manipulate you can add you can delete all your data entries to your table by using this form without even using or creating uh, macros or VBA. Thank you. I hope you all enjoyed do doing learning this amazing feature in Excel. If you do, uh, please subscribe to our channel, Actuators. Thank you so much.